this one's interesting because it's a a proverb, uh, or is it actually a yoji jukugo? So it's a, a four character kanji. That's a essentially a proverb, I guess, and it's yeah, that's the proverb. Yeah, nanakorobi yaoki. Some people might know this. It's it's getting a little bit popular. So what's this one mean, and why did you choose this one? Uh, that means seven falls, eight rises. Uh, I wanted to pick like a Yojiju Google in this style, not too complicated to practice, but also like a, the proverb, which has the positive uplifting meaning. <laughs> yeah, you know? so we should uh, and... break it down. So <laughs> should we break it down first. Like, so Nana is seven. Nana is seven. Korobi it falls or fall. Mm. Like and fall over. Eight, yeah. Yeah. Fall down. And eight. Mm. Well, hachi. Nana korobi ya. Yeah. Is hachi. Eight. So eight. Mm. Or eight times. And oki is to rise. Rises, right? To get up. So one can already envisage sort Meaning. of abstract. Mm. Uh, movement or the picture, right? So that means we will experience a lot of ups and downs in life, but we will be fine in the end. It's more like uh, describes to accept the taku and our difficulties again and again. And again. Yeah. <laughs> does, so does it also mean to have like persistence and not give up to keep keep trying or is that a western keep, interpretation i think it's more like a keep trying but more like a until one overcome i understand that it's not necessary that visibly you have a result mm -hmm. it's more like a, the inner overcome of difficulties that's i would say so it's not uh, always visible physical okay. overcome as such so it's not always used in relation to one specific goal because so i think in I the don't west think so. yeah, in the west we as i mentioned to you some people love this expression so much they they tattoo it on their arm or shoulder and they think oh yeah like don't give up and it's persistence and if you've got a goal you've just got to keep trying even if you fail five six seven times you you rise again I That's the so clear of the meaning as well, mm -hmm. right? Okay. But I understand a bit more like uh, the mental sort of ups and down. So even you cannot see the light, mm. you know, it would be there. You just cannot see it this moment. So maybe open another door or go to another path. So it's got deeper sort of darkness and the the light so it sounds like there's an element of hope to it there, there's yeah. hope for you that's what i would explain